cycloalkanes. These are a type of alkanes that are formed into ring sort of structures. So your typical alkane just is acyclic. I mean, it's, it's a chain. But this would be a ring. For example, you can have something that looks like a triangle, three carbons, uh, four carbons, five carbons, six carbons, etc. Cycloalkanes have the molecular formula CnH2n, where an alkane was 2n plus 2 for the hydrogen. This is missing two hydrogens. And something I'm going to talk about later, this has one degree of unsaturation. means it's missing two hydrogens. Uh, these are named uh, as this looks here. So you've got, let me get a different color. Cyclo is your prefix and your suffix is ang. The middle part, alk, is your prefix for the organic. For example, the first one is cyclopropane, pro for three. Second one, cyclobutane, cyclopentane, cyclohexane, etc. So it's cyclo, the prefix for the organic, and then tane. Okay, so cycloheptane, cyclooctane, etc. Um, here, and we'll do examples. Uh, as well, but the naming goes as follows. Kind of similar, a little bit different. Uh, but you still do all the substituents, the branches, first, and then the base name. Numbering can be a little more funky with this one. Uh, it, it depends where, what position do you put the one in. At the top, the right, left, bottom, wherever. So uh, let me show you what uh, a couple examples of what this could look like. Okay. Let's say we have one of these. Let's make it more exciting. There. So this, the base name, you don't look for the longest chain this time. Okay, you're going to go straight to the uh, cyclo part. So the base name here is cyclopentane. There's no long chain here. So cyclopentane. Okay. Then you do the branches just like before. So what's this one? Methyl and? Yeah, methyl. Only one and one ethyl. Ethyl be named first in the substituent order because we're going to alphabetical order. The numbering is the funkiest part. Where do I put the one? Okay. I want to put the one such that I get the lowest set of numbers. Just as before, where is that? There's five positions to choose from because there's five places in the ring to put a, a one. And you can go counterclockwise or clockwise. So there's 10 options in this case. Where do you want the one? Next to the Let's do it on the ethyl, because the ethyl is going to be named first. If I put the one on the ethyl, what do I want the methyl to be? Three, as opposed to four. So if you go counterclockwise, starting one here, you'll have a one, three. Versus if you went clockwise, it'd be a 1, 4. Okay? So, I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that would put a 1 here and a 3 there. So it's 1 ethyl dash 3 dash methyl cyclo uh, pentane. Oops, that went off a little bit. One ethyl, three methyl cyclopentane. So the numbering can be kind of funky here. There's mo a lot more choices where to put the one. But essentially, try to get the lowest number close to the front and, and number accordingly. Question? Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, where you go. Yes. Um, I'm so, I think I missed. Why can't you put the one at the methyl and then go around two, three, so then the methyl would be one and the ethyl would be three? Yeah, the, another option is three ethyl, one methyl, for example. But I like 13 versus 31. Does that make sense? It's a, a slightly lower set of numbers. So having the lowest number first. When you do chains, that's not always possible. But when you do rings, it's possible. Uh, anything else?